Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lindsay and this is the Mom Logs. It feels so good to be sitting back in my bedroom filming a video for you all. Today I'm going to be um, talking about my February favorites. Some of these things I have been loving since before February and just throughout the winter in general, but it has been such a long time since I've sat down and filmed a favorites video that I thought that I would just do like an all encompassing winter slash February favorites for you all. I have some food favorites. I have a couple beauty favorites and I also have some things that my kids have been loving like boredom busters, super affordable things in my opinion um, and things that you can just pick up on Amazon for convenience purposes. I am going to go ahead and get started with my food favorites first. The first thing I found at Aldi, and they usually have a variety of these, but it is the dark chocolate dessert hummus. I've also tried the sugar cookie dessert hummus and the mint chocolate ones. I really like them all. The, in particular, the dark chocolate flavor I like um, on bananas. I like with um, just like a cut up apple or like if I'm feeling like a little bit more indulgent, I like um, like a graham cracker or an animal cracker. This has like the texture of hummus if you've never tried it before, um, but it is on the sweeter side instead of like a traditional savory hummus. This is gluten-free and vegan. You can have two tablespoons of this for 60 calories. It's got six grams of sugar with five grams of added sugar and uh, one gram of protein in the two tablespoons. Oh, and this, I should have added, this is also good with pretzels as well. The next thing I have, I had shown these in a Costco haul, but I hadn't tried them um, yet. It is the Kirkland brand um, protein bars, and these came in a pack with the, this chocolate chip cookie dough and also some sort of like fudge brownie flavor. They're both equally good in my opinion. They do contain um, milk. They have a whey protein um, in them for the source of protein. One bar is 190 calories and it has uh, one gram of sugar. It has four grams of erythritol and let's see, the protein is 21 grams in one bar. So these are really good. I would um, compare the consistency of it to a Quest bar. Um, it's been a little bit since I've eaten a Quest bar, but I would say that they have a little bit less of a protein taste than a Quest bar. I know some people are really turned off by that flavor. It doesn't bother me as much. So um, um, I'm a little bit less turned off by it, but I really do like these protein bars and I would definitely repurchase them. My next food favorite I picked up from Walmart and it is the Great Value Turkey Meatballs. These are really tiny. They're fully cooked, so I'll pick one up. Um, they're this big, but you can have six of them for 150 calories and they have 14 grams of protein and six, uh, nine grams of fat. So... Um, I really like these with um, like spaghetti squash and sometimes I will have them with like a serving of pasta. I really like the texture of them too and the flavor is really good. Next I have these good thin crackers. I had tried the like the corn ones in place of tortilla chips and those are really good too. These are the, they're rice crackers and the flavor is garden veggie. These are um, non-GMO project verified. You can have 16 pieces or 31 grams for 130 calories. I have a little bit different of a texture than the corn ones because they're made from rice, but these are really good. They're really, really good plain, but they're also really good with some hummus. That's how I've been having them. My last food favorite I actually found out about through um, one of Brianna from Diva and the Divine's live chats. I was looking for something um, to add a little bit more fiber, mainly to my younger son's diet, just to help him in the bathroom, but it is this acacia 
fiber and this is the now brand i really like the now brand because they make really good supplements at an affordable price so i picked this one up on like vitacost or like lucky vitamin i can't remember which one um, this is also non-GMO project verified. The acacia fiber is a little bit different than the psyllium fiber because it doesn't thicken. So I figured that I could get my son to drink this because it doesn't get like that gritty, um, like not so much gritty, but like almost like an applesauce, like a thinned out applesauce texture um, to it. And I could put it into his milk or his juice, or like you could, I think you could even do it in yogurt, um, just to help make him a little bit more regular. Um, I really like this and, um, I've had it a few times and my husband's also had it and I definitely recommend for intestinal health. Next on my list was sent to me by Mindy at See Mindy Mom. Um, just as like a little gift surprise because she's a ray of sunshine. It is this um, Slim Can Brew Mate. This is a can insulator, which I know will come in handy this summer. I'm like sitting outside and I want to keep my drink cool, but I have been enjoying it so much already. So this is, um, this fits the Slim Cans. So like the LaCroix drinks that come in the tall slim cans I use this for. This also will fit like a 12 ounce Red Bull in it and it also fits like your White Claw and Trulies. It is this really pretty color purple. They have um, a whole bunch of colors. And then we actually already had this one. This is my husband's and it's like this really cool silver color but it also has like a little bit of an iridescence to it. And this one is the size of a, like if it's a beer bottle down into it. And it comes with an adapter so that you can fit different, I guess different types of beers come in different shaped bottles. So um, just so that you can make it tight on the top of your bottle so that um, it doesn't slip out. But these feel really good. They're like really solid and sturdy, but not too heavy where they're hard to hold on to. I really like it and I'm excited to use it this summer like camping and stuff. My next two things are going to be beauty favorites. The first one is a L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I have the shade 202 Creamy Natural and I'll definitely go darker in the summertime because this is like barely dark enough for me to use right now. I am wearing it on my skin now and I really like how it wears. I like the level of coverage that it does. Like you can still see my freckles through my foundation a little bit and it doesn't make me look cakey or anything. Um, it has a broad spectrum SPF in it. It is F SPF 15. It just gives a really nice finish and it is hydrating, which is really nice for the winter time. So this one is real good. My next beauty favorite is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion Mascara. I feel like I'm a little bit late to the game on this one, but I am wearing it now. It I have the shade um, black. I like the wand on this one because the bristles aren't too long, and I, if the bristles are too long on the brush, I tend to get mascara on my eyelid, and then it messes up my eyeshadow when I try to take it off. And um, the bristles also make it so that mascara doesn't clump up on my eyelashes. But it definitely like makes my eyelashes look fuller and longer, which is what we're going for with the mascara. My last couple things are going to be things that we have been doing to bust boredom in this house because it has been so cold and so snowy in Northeastern Ohio. I'm just so over this winter weather and I'm so ready for spring. Because of COVID, um, they took my older son's preschool class from three days down to two days. Um, and we have been having to supplement a little bit more than I probably would have been if he would have continued to go to school three days a week. So this was something that I picked up for him to work on his, he's got his uppercase letters down, but he's still working on like um, the association between the uppercase and lowercase. So I got this alphabet letter puzzle and it's really cool because it, it the pieces like self check to each other. So only the, the letters that match up the pieces will interlock. Like you wouldn't be able to interlock 
um, a capital M with a lowercase L because they don't match. So not only does it have the matching on this side, but on this side, we're also working on the sounds that the letters make. So this helps as well because then he, he knows that mitten starts with an M and it makes a mm sound. Definitely been enjoying this. We've been trying to do it every couple days, supplementing his preschool class. And then for fun, not that that's not fun, but um, Jack has also been enjoying playing with perler beads or some of you might call them pony beads. And we have been doing specifically, like he's really into Minecraft lately, so we've been doing a ton of like Minecraft perler bead, little like pieces of artwork, and then we did something really cool to them so that he could decorate his room with them. We've made coasters and little decorations for their shelves in their bedroom, and my younger son likes to play with them too, but he doesn't quite get the concept that you have to like make the beads touch in order for me to iron um, them so that he can keep it, but he still has fun regardless of whether or not he's doing it. I usually just put the little grid and a cookie sheet for Ben, and then that way they have less of a chance of going everywhere and ending up on the floor. But Jack, um, who just turned five, he has um, mastered like looking up a pattern that we would find on Pinterest and then recreating it as well. And it really helps develop fine motor skills too, like working with those tiny beads and putting them onto a grid. The last thing that I wanted to talk about was actually a YouTube channel that I have been loving so much lately. Um, we had been doing um, Beachbody on demand and then we switched over to um, Apple Fitness Plus and I do like Apple Fitness Plus a lot. I love the music that goes along with it and um, I really like the trainers. The only thing that I don't like is the lack of isolation of the body part. I feel like a lot of the lifting workouts are full body and sometimes my arms are too sore and I just want to lift legs or my legs are too sore and I just want to lift arms. So I was just browsing on YouTube and I came across a YouTube channel, Caroline Gervin, I believe is how you pronounce her name. She posts amazing fitness videos for free. You can go on and just like search her channel for whatever body part you want to work out. And she does have some hit workouts. I would say it's mostly strength training and you can, there's like a ton of variety of lengths of workouts and um, whatever like split you have, you can find basically anything on her channel. So I'll put her handle up here and I'll link her channel down below in the description box in case you wanna check her out. I am going to link as many things as I can find that I talked about today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button if you wanna see more from me. I'll see you next time, bye.